There's new information today in the investigation of a quadruple murder in a wealthy Washington, D.C. neighborhood. We're learning more about the five men and women taken into custody, along with the main suspect, who was later released. When Darren Witt was arrested last Thursday night, police found evidence at least two of the five people with him were helping him move or spend part of the cash extorted from Savas Savopoulos. They were using money orders police say were visible inside the truck that Witt was following, along with $100 bills, which was consistent with the denomination delivered to the residents prior to the homicide. According to court documents, one of the occupants in the car with Wint admitted to purchasing money orders after the murders, estimated to exceed $10,000. Another person in the truck admitted he was providing cash to buy the money orders. But why would two people possibly handling extortion funds and five people assisting a fugitive not be arrested? I think it was a smart decision. I doubt it was, I'm positive it wasn't haphazard. Roscoe Howard, who was the U.S. attorney in D.C. for three years, says the five were released but remain under investigation. Some would say this might be called a tactical release. Oh, absolutely. They can be watched the way you and I can be watched. Uh, once you're on the street, there is nothing to keep the police from listening to your phone calls with the, with the court's permission, a wiretap, following you. Um, doing whatever they can do to any individual who's out on the street. At the time of their release, none of the five were suspected of being present at the crime scene. Funeral services for the Savopolis' family scheduled for next Monday.